In this video, we will see how easy it is to record a new inspection in MVIRS. Begin by clicking the New Inspection icon. When prompted, scan the Pennsylvania owner's registration card. The owner's name and address appears at the top of the screen. Below that, a list of existing customers having the same last name is shown, along with an option to add a new customer. If no existing customers were found having the same last name, all customers, either individuals or companies, are shown. If this is a new customer, select the Add New Customer checkbox. If the correct customer is shown, select it by checking the appropriate checkbox. Click Continue. The customer list is replaced by vehicle information obtained from the scan and from decoding the VIN. Review the customer and vehicle information for accuracy. In this example, the existing insurance policy from last year's inspection is expired and must be renewed. Point to the policy, right-click, and choose Renew Insurance Policy. The insurance policy screen appears showing the existing insurance policy information and the expiration date is automatically increased by one year. If any of the information is incorrect for the current insurance identification card, make the required changes. When you're ready to proceed, click Save. The new policy now appears and is pre-selected. Click Continue. The sticker expirations window captures the expiring safety sticker expiration month and year. This is the sticker that was on the vehicle prior to this inspection. If the vehicle is registered in an emissions county, MVIRS also captures the current emissions sticker expiration month and year to warn you if you're attempting to perform a safety inspection when insufficient time remains on the emissions sticker. In this example, the previous inspection was recorded in MVIRS, so the expiring safety sticker information automatically appears. The customer has asked us to perform the emissions inspection, so we'll enter the expiration month and year of the emission sticker to be affixed. Click Continue. This is the final screen for recording a safety inspection. If your shop uses work orders, enter the work order number. Press the Tab key or the Enter key to position to the next field. Because this vehicle was previously inspected in MVIRS, the old odometer reading appears automatically, so we can tab to the next field. Enter the new odometer reading. Because this vehicle is registered in an emissions county, the visual anti-tampering result fields are not applicable. If you wish, you can enter the emission sticker number in the IM sticker field to associate it with this inspection, or you can leave the field blank. Enter the general inspection point results as P for pass, N for new, R for repaired, A for adjusted, or F for failed. For this demonstration, we will assume that everything passed. Next, enter the tire tread depth readings. Enter the brake thicknesses and types. Brake types are B for bonded and R for riveted. Verify the sticker expiration month and year determined by MVIRS and make any changes necessary. Select the mechanic that performed the safety inspection. If you wish, you can click the General Comments button to record comments such as front tires will need to be replaced before next year's inspection. Click Finish to allocate the next available safety sticker and write the inspection to the applicable MV431 or MV480 form. In this case, the sticker allocated was the last sticker of the batch, so MVIRS searched for and found a new batch and automatically begins using it. 
Click Close to return to the MVIRS home screen. The inspection just completed was the 10th inspection since the MV431 report was last printed. So MVIRS asks if you want to print the new page. Click Yes to proceed. On the report screen, options exist to preview or print the report. For this demonstration, we will preview it on the screen. To make the report easier to read on the screen, we will increase the zoom level to 200%. Scroll to the bottom. and to the right of the report to see the newly completed inspection. Close the preview window by clicking the red X in the upper right corner. Click close on the report screen to return to the home screen. This concludes our new inspection demonstration.